Hey guys, welcome back to Healthcare Engineering YouTube channel. Before getting into our video, we would like to share some information about us. Our channel shares many informative videos which will helpful for all the healthcare professionals, especially biomedical engineering students and the professionals from the industry. Our company, Healthcare Engineering Private Limited, serves in all the possible ways to enhance the biomedical engineering field which allows us providing better healthcare solutions via modern healthcare technologies. We are very supportive for all the biomedical engineering students and for the professionals. If you guys need any kind of academic supports or professional supports please feel free to contact us. Our contact details are given below in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share our channel with all your BME friends and contacts. This will help us to share the knowledge with more fellows. Well, in today's video, we talk about lithotripsy. Lithotripsy is a non-invasive procedure involving the physical destruction of hardened masses like kidney stones, bezos or gallstones. The term is derived from the Greek words meaning breaking stones. Let's see a small description about kidney stones. We all know that our kidneys play vital roles in our body's excretion. When things that normally excreted by the kidneys remain in the urinary tract, they may glisten into kidney stones. If stones break out in the kidneys, they can pass and lie down in small holes in the urinary tract. Some kidney stones are small or smooth enough to pass through the urinary tract without discomfort. Some stones may have rough edges or grow as large as peas, causing severe pain when walking or sitting in the urinary tract. The most common areas of kidney stones are the bladder, ureter and urethra. Lithotripsy is a rare, non-invasive procedure used to treat kidney stones that are too large to pass through the urinary tract. Lithotripsy treats kidney stones by sending concentrated ultrasonic energy or shock waves directly to a targeted which is detected by fluoroscopy or ultrasound. Trembling waves crashing against a large rock into small stones will pass through the urinary system. Lithotripsy allows people with certain types of stones in the urinary system to avoid an invasive surgical procedure for the removal of stones. To correct the waves, doctors should be able to see the stones under the X-ray or ultrasound. Lithotripsy involves the management of a series of shock waves in a target rock. The shock waves produced by a machine called a lithotripter focused on an X-ray of the kidney stone. Shock waves travel through the body, through the skin and tissues. To the rock where they break it into small pieces. Within a few weeks after treatment, those tiny bumps are eliminated into the body through the urine. There are two ways to remove stones using shock wave treatment. Alternatively, the patient is placed in a lukewarm water bath using X-ray or ultrasound to identify the location of the stones. The body is positioned so that the stones are directed directly. 
Second, in the normal course of events, the patient sleeps on a pillow or in a soft cloth where the wave passes. About 1 to 2,000 shock waves are needed to crush the rocks. Complete treatment lasts about 45 to 60 minutes. Now let's see some other procedures that can be used to treat kidney stones. First one is urethroscopy or uteroscopy. It's an endoscopic procedure in which stones in the urethra or ureter may be inserted through a short, flexible, transparent tube called as endoscope. With stones found in the lower part of the urethra, the doctor may transfer the ureteroscope, an empty tube-like device, to the top of the bladder and the ureter. A basket-like machine can be passed through a tube to hold and remove the stone. The other one is percutaneous nephrolithotomy known as tunnel surgery. In this stone surgical procedure that can be treated with lithotripsy or endoscopic procedures. It involves removing a stone from a small tube that has been translated into a hollow into the kidneys. If the stones are very large, like more than 2 cm or in an area that does not allow for successful lithotripsy. A method called percutaneous stone removal may be used. In this way, the surgeon, may, the surgeon makes a small hole in the back and creates the duct directly into the kidneys. A tube is inserted and the stone is removed through the tube. The other procedure is open surgery. The most aggressive surgical procedure uses a large incision to reach the stone directly. A synthetic tool with a tube that can be used with other processes. The stent may be inserted with a special scope into the urinary tract so that the stones pass easily. The other procedure is called extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy or shockwave lithotripsy. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy is a treatment for kidney stones and ureter that does not require surgery. Instead, shockwaves are passed through the body and are used to break up rocks into small pieces of sand. Because of their small size, these pieces can pass through the body and urine. Shockwave lithotripsy uses very strong waves like pressure to small rocks. Small pieces of kidney stones can easily pass through the urinary tract. Shockwave lithotripsy can help reduce patient's symptoms such as pain and allow patient to pass kidney stones on patient's own. It may help patient to avoid further, in, further invasive surgery to remove kidney stones. Shockwave lithotripsy usually works best in treating small stones inside the kidney or in the upper part of the ureter or urinary tube. Now let's see some pros and cons of these treatments. The great advantage of these treatments is that many patients can be treated with kidney stones without surgery. As a result, complications, hospitalization, costs and recovery time are reduced. Unfortunately, not all types of kidney stones can be treated in this way. In addition, fragments of stones are occasionally left in the body which further treatments are required. Finally, let's think about the reasons for these lithotripsy process, process, processes. 
The main advantage of lithotripsy is that it is not completely invasive. Lithotripsy is well suited for patients with small kidney stones that can be easily detected by x-ray. When kidney stones become too large to pass through the urinary tract, they can cause severe pain and may block urine flow. Diseases may occur. Lithotripsy can be performed to treat these types of kidney stones in certain areas within the urinary tract. Guys, these are the short and sweet information about lithotripsy. If you would like to know more about these processes and about these medical devices, please visit our blog www.learnbiomedengine.blogspot.com All our blog's details are given below in the description. Once again, we would like to thank you for watching our entire video in order to grow yourself and please be stay tuned with us by subscribing and sharing our channel with your fellow BME friends.